हेलो गाइस इज डीजे वेलकम टू एजफिक परमाकल्चर डॉट कॉम एजफिक परमाकल्चर चैनल एज ऑफ नाउ दिस इज माय परमाकल्चर फार्म माय परमाकल्चर हाउस देयर दिस इज वेयर द पीडीसी हैपेंड एंड नाउ व्हाट यू आर सीइंग इज अ रॉकेट स्टॉप दैट इज फंक्शनिंग परफेक्टली इफ यू लुक इन देयर लुक हाउ मच फायर देयर इज इफ यू लुक आउट हार्डली एनी स्मोक एंड द फूड स्टॉप इज बॉइलिंग दुर 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 सी दैट that's awesome that means it's complete combustion almost all the wood oils in the wood are getting gasified and they are getting combusted as they pass through the channels there we have set this up in such a way that it can cook two containers at the same time uh the fire goes in here fuel goes in here air goes in here the fire starts there goes up burns goes down goes up goes up so by that time all the wood oils are combusted and as you can see the food is boiling uh and it's smoking gently right as you can see nice and gentle getting hot this is our lunch for today this is one good technology there's a lot of controversy about uh, wood stoves causing lung diseases if you design your stoves properly it won't happen you can have this in a semi outdoor setting like this which will even uh, help uh, any occasional smoke that uh, comes out of this so with this little video of a rocket stove you can see the type of stoves we are using when a lot of people are there or when a lot of dishes are there we use those two right now here is a traditional uh, coal um stove that uh, lai ragita is my wife lai ragita is fanning she is also a permaculturist our makeshift uh, kitchen here and you can you can see that iron thing there that's a husk rice husk stove opposite to our house is a rice mill from which we can get the husk and uh, we can use that occasionally especially when we are cooking something slow and something small so the right now we are cooking for four people but uh, this can handle much 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 heavier loads you can see the fire blazing away inside rocketing inside doing nicely it's a very small amount of wood required because it completely gasifies right you can see the smoke rising uh, not from the fire but from the heating containers both the containers are uh, slightly smoking now that means the food is getting hot so with this shot and a shot of my little duck pond banana circles dj signing off it's not a banana circle it's a pond surrounded by bananas inside there are ducks right thanks for watching edge effect permaculture study permaculture understand it enjoy oh one last thing i was i'm still here there you go the rocket stuff still blazing just add a little bit of fuel uh want to, want to mention three more things okay the first thing is that uh, what's so special about this as i was mentioning earlier it burns the fuel very 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 optimistically in the sense most of the wood oils etc get combusted um uh, in this method and hardly any carbon residue uh leaves out the other side which means far less pollution um this is an alternate technology that is very very useful especially when people move back from the overcrowded cities back into the place where all the base resources are produced that is the farm lands and villages and people come back to villages when people come back to the land they can grow their own uh food much of what we are eating here is from this farm they can grow their own fuel uh much of the fuel that uh, i use here is from this farm um and they can use appropriate technology like this which is going to solve the problem of pollution that is caused by lpgs now many people say lpg is not that polluting come on you got to be kidding me somebody has to mine lpg the liquid petroleum gas then they have to put it into cylinders using energy in a high pressured uh, condition and then those cylinders have to be shipped to every town every street every village every street and every home 
and then those cylinders have to be taken back not considering the actual pollution caused by the creation of that cylinder those cylinders it's themselves all the pollution back and forth of all this nonsense along with it being a fossil fuel i mean that's miles more polluting miles away you know ahead or behind in terms of being a you know, a, 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 an appropriate technology like this this one pollutes far less right this is the carbon i sequestered from the atmosphere right this is not the carbon that has been dug out of the earth this has been taken from the atmosphere on my farm and now part of it is going back out and uh, all in all i'll be carbon neutral with this kind of a technology this is uh, called a rocket stove there are many many variations of this study this it's a uh, part of what we teach in a pdc uh, a half a day module to one day module is on appropriate technologies it's a module called appropriate technologies where we discuss so many technologies that are useful to human settlement and habitation everything from uh, uh, roads and construction to fuels and transportation and uh, water purification and water ex water uh, transporting water Uh, pulse pump ramp pump and a bunch of others and energy producing systems all other stuff now this rocket stove has been set up by my friend uh, uh, upendra sri sainath who is a permaculturist and who is uh, busy today teaching a class uh, uh, in a government organization called manage today we'll be talking about urban permaculture and rooftop <coughs> excuse me rooftop gardening there you see my wife is now uh, checking things out how it's cooking now he designed this he set this up he uh, set it up and this is not the first rocket stuff we built we built so many uh, back in hyderabad where i most of the time i live that we have kind of understood the basics of it and most of us most of the time can do it you know half way asleep the only problem this design has is that if there is a strong wind tunneling happening from that side sometimes this doesn't really pull that much because the wind gusts are very very strong here sometimes other than that this rocket stuff works perfectly hardly any smoke there sorry for shaking the camera so much can't help it you just have to bear with me but the important point here is don't think that a pdc a permaculture design certificate course is all about farming uh, many people will try to convince you of that many people actually look to come to a pdc just to do you know learn what to do uh, in agriculture in farming here we teach you what to do on a farm what to do uh, in your home what to do in a city on on your rooftops in the farms on the roads on the sides of the roads every little piece of the earth is covered in a good pdc all the climatic zones all the landscape zone profiles uh, which uh, many pdcs uh, ma many people don't know that a pdc contains Right now, a PDC is coming up by my very dear friend uh, and my student, Sai Prasanna Kumar. Uh, a PDC is going to happen from 13th December 2015 in Hyderabad. If you catch this video soon enough, do join that, and you won't regret it. Um, it's an amazing piece of uh, information and amazing, empowering and confidence-giving system, ethical system. Uh, do join that, and the guy who built this. he is going to teach a pdc soon sometime maybe in jan or feb we are not sure um i am not any any time soon i might not be teaching a full pdc myself probably i'll co teach with sai a little bit and maybe with upendra a little bit i'm not sure but um, do do get uh, into studying permaculture have a great day the lunch is getting ready now almost uh, it's uh, aubergines brinjal chutney rice and sambar what more can you ask for dj from my own permaculture farm signing off thanks for watching the edge effect permaculture and one other thing i have another channel called the great indian rooftop garden channel on which uh, i show off my rooftop garden and talk about rooftop gardening and other stuff so keep uh, checking out for videos from here and there because i am right now staying for a few days on my farm and going back into the city because my family has not shifted yet so till then uh, i'm going to try and upload videos as they apply as permaculture applies both to the urban and the rural uh, scenario so keep watching keep enjoying keep learning teacher sending off have a great day